Okay everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix a controller problem when you play Need for Speed on PC. So when you play Need for Speed on PC, if you use keyboard control, everything works fine. But if you connect the controller, there's some problems. So the controller I'm using today is an Xbox One S controller. It's the newest one. So what happens? Let's check. Yeah, when I hit acceleration, the car does not move fast. It will stay at the low speed, the gear 2, and it's not going to speed up. It's not going to speed up. So someone suggest, I search online, okay, someone suggest uh, you go to settings, and you go to control and you adjust the sensitivity okay I tried that works like doing this steering down zone and break dead zone I maximize that and uh, oh I didn't wait a minute so if I do this maximize this to and the car is, is moved but it did not totally solve the problem because we find out that it still does not get full speed it will stay at the it will never pass the 100 uh, mileage per hour yeah it's, you see it's still not speed up quick enough it still has some problem. I didn't lie to you, you trust me. It didn't fully solve the problem. So today I'm going to show you how to solve the problem. Even without set the sensitivity. Yeah, this sensitivity should all go zero. This is not the right way to solve that. So check what I do, okay? So you probably don't see here, but, but let's check again. The settings I put into the original. Okay, put this into the original. Okay, so I set all the, the sensitivity to zero. So this is the worst condition, right? I should see barely moved. The car didn't go anywhere. So let me fix the problem. Okay, one second. Did you hear some sound? Check my car. You can easily go to very high speed. Right? Let's check again. I didn't do anything with the sensitivity. Right. But it works. So how does this work? What I did just I did. It's one sentence I can tell you. Unplug your keyboard. So this game sucks. This game is poorly designed. If you play, plug the keyboard and you connect the Xbox controller together there might be some conflict between the two controls so one doesn't work one will kill the others so the only way yeah I do some search online the only way to fix this is to connect only one controller you either use a keyboard or use your Xbox one there's no drivers no update so far 2017 things you can do the only thing if you really like use controller unplug your USB keyboard that's it hope it, it helps happy new year everyone